Imagine a day without worry. No what ifs, no worst case scenarios, just living in the present moment. Now, I know what you're thinking. Impossible, right? That's because our brains love to worry. It's a habit. It's addicted to it even. You see, worry tricks us into thinking it's helping us, that it's given us some sort of control over the situation. Like, we think that if we just worry enough, it'll somehow magically prevent bad things from happening. But the thing is, worry doesn't have that kind of magic. Now, let me ask you something. When was the last time worry actually solved the problem for you? Probably never, right? You see, worry doesn't have that kind of power. It's just wasted energy that's bringing us down. So if you're tired of worrying about everything all the time, then don't worry. I'm going to share a simple but super powerful trick that's helped me worry less, and I know it'll help you too. No complicated techniques, no hours of therapy, just a simple strategy that can change everything. Now, I'm not saying by the end of the video you're going to be totally worry-free. I mean, even snails worry. Actually, I have no scientific evidence to back that up, so I'm not sure about that. But I do guarantee you'll worry less than you do now. How about that? Okay, so let's not waste any more time and let's just get right into it. So let's talk about the two most feared words in the English language when you put them together. And no, it's not I do. Although that can be pretty scary too. I'm talking about the words what if. You see, most of our worries start with those two little words. What if I lose my job? What if I lose all my money? What if this weird looking mole turns out to be something serious? Sound familiar? It's these what ifs that send us down the rabbit hole of worry, ending in the worst case scenario every time. Which isn't a bad thing, it's our brain's way of keeping us alive. It thinks it's doing us a favor, it's just that it constantly goes overboard with its worrying. It's like that overprotective grandma who always wanted you to wear a sweater even though it's 90 degrees out. She means well, but it's just kind of overkill. So what should we do? Instead of fighting against our brain's natural tendency to worry, let's work with it. The brain is worried about the worst case scenario, right? So instead of challenging it or ignoring it, let's help the brain out by making a plan for what we would do if that worst case scenario actually happened. So for example, if you're worried about losing your job, make a plan for what you can do. Brush up your resume and think about other job opportunities. If you're worried about losing all your money, make a plan for how you can manage your finances and explore ways to save or even earn more. If you're worried that that weird look of mole might be serious, Make a plan for what you'll do if the doctor says it's cancer. Yes, you'll be scared, but you'll do what needs to be done when it needs to be done. Now, it might suck, but now you've made a plan for that worst case scenario. That what if isn't so paralyzing anymore. Now, this isn't about expecting the worst. It's about being prepared so those what ifs lose their power. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is all easier said than done, right? But here's the thing. You've already been through a ton of stuff in your life already. Stuff that you thought you'd never get through breakups, job losses, health issues, but you got through it all, right? I mean, you're here. So whatever life throws at you, no matter what it is or how scary it is, you'll get through it. You're stronger than you think. All right, so here's a super quick recap. Number one, write down your worries. Number two, identify the worst case scenario for each worry. Number three, brainstorm actionable steps you could take if that scenario actually happens. How would you cope? Who could you turn to? What resources would you need? Focus on what you can control. And remember, no matter what, you're going to get through it. You always have. All right, so that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.